Hey guys, welcome to Freak Motion. Today I will show you two types of snappy text animation inside of After Effects. It will be very fun and easy to create text animation. Let me know if you want to see the tutorial of this background animation. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects, and let's get started. First, create a composition with full HD settings as usual. Before moving forward to the video, hitting the red subscribe button will be awesome. Also, hit the bell icon for all the latest updates. Alright, take the type tool, and type a text you like. Make the size text 150. Hold Shift plus Ctrl and double click on this pan behind the tool to center the anchor point. Align it to the center. Select the text and press S to open scale. Go to 20 frames, and add a keyframe on the scale. Then come back to the first frame and increase the scale value a little bit. Select the text layer, and press Shift plus D to open opacity. On 5 frames, add a keyframe on opacity, then come back to the first frame, and change its value to 0. Select all the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open Graph Editor, and change the graph something like this, Make sure you are in the edit speed graph. You can change the graph one by one by selecting each property. Select the layer, and press U to see all the applied keyframes. By selecting the layer, press Shift plus P to open the position property. Go to almost 25 frames, and add a keyframe on position. Then go forward to almost 10 frames, and change the position something like this. Select these keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Go to graph editor and change the curve something like this. Perfect. Our first test is done. Let's type our second text. Adjust the text position like this. Then open the text layer, click on this animate button, and select tracking. Increase the tracking amount like this. Then click on this add button, and add opacity. Set the opacity value 0. Open range selector 1. We animate this text after the first text. Select the layer and press U to see all the applied keyframes. Now on this frame, add a keyframe on start. Then go forward to few frames, and change its value to 100. Select the layer and press U to see the applied keyframes. Press Shift plus P to open position. Now add a keyframe on position, then come back to few frames, and change its position something like this. After that animation should look like this. Select all the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open the graph editor, and change its curves to something like this. You can do one by one by selecting a single property.
Now go to effects and presets, and search for the fastbox blur effect. Apply it to the layer. On these frames, add a keyframe on blur radius. Then come back to the first frame, and increase its value to high value. Adjust the keyframes according to your need. Also, change the blur dimension to horizontal. And also increase the iteration value a little bit. Hit spacebar to ramp review it. Nice. Now it looks fast. Adjust the keyframes according to your text. You can use these text animations to reveal some kind of fast title animation. By the way, you can do the same text animation using some inbuilt After Effects presets. Let him show you that. First, type a text. Go to Effects and Presets, and search for Bullet Train Effect. Apply it to the layer. And it's done. But as you know it always feels better to create something from yourself. So this is all for today. I know it's a very short tutorial. I was quite busy with my new company job. Anyway, I will try my best to give good content always. Thank you for watching this video. See you guys in the next week. Till then have fun, and stay safe.